Okay, I want to show you how to flash the firmware on the Workos TS-10. I'm on Gheart's website here to download the firmware. Find my Workos TS-10 and download that. Not that one. That one there. And download it. Now, it's important to note that this is a hex file at the end. Android, for some reason, will download that and will name it as a text file on the end. As you can see here. So you want to rename that, use your file manager, and you want it to be .hex, otherwise the flashing program won't allow that. I already have one labeled that, so I'm just going to name it 2. There we go. Rename. Now you want to go download the Z Flasher AVR from your app store. It's free. Okay, here we are in Z Flash. You want to change your project type up here at the top to Serial UDPI. And then you want to change your MTU here to the ATtiny 1616. I like to run the test just to make sure I've got connectivity with my programmer. Uh, put your pogo pins up to your board here. And with a spare finger, just hit test. And you can see there, it didn't have connection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unplug my board, plug it back in. Android's going to recognize the app and pick which one I want to do. So here we are, it's again, Serial UDPI and the ATtiny 1616. Push the pogo pins in, hit test, and you can see that it did the serial number. So next thing to do is go pick that hex file, pick your downloads folder. We can see the two that I did. So there's the hex file, it's action set to right. Now I'm going to make connection on my pogo pins, and then with a spare finger hit go. And don't move, let this thing flash. And it's verifying. And I did notice my the head of my light just did a quick bright come on just to let you know that the flash was complete. At this point, you should be ready to go. Plug your light back in and uh, test it out.